Hello! <laughs> Look Hi. who's back! Wow! I just ran in! Re running? Speaking of running, boy are my arms tired. Why? Because I just flew in... Nah, it doesn't work. I gotta learn how to tell that joke. You know about flying in and your arms are tired? Never heard that one Yeah, at me all. neither. Welcome to Hawk Happenings! Woo! Uh, this is our latest installment and it's uh, a real doozy. What a week! It's week six. Week six. Do Welcome you know back, Miss Joel. Halfway. Halfway through the try. We are <clears throat> a sixth of the way done with the school year. Hello. Bye. Um. Yeah. Welcome back, Miss Joel. Uh, Thank you. Let's get this boat rolling, as boats do. And uh, tell us about what's happening. So, in this week's What's Happening, we have two awesome segments. Um, we're going to start with a little bit of our cross-country uh, athletes, and they're going to talk a little bit about how awesome cross-country is. If you didn't know we have a cross-country team, we do. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about the book fair. The book fair is going to be book starting fair. up um, the week of conferences, which is coming up. So, it's coming up. Are you reading? I am pretending to read to... Yes. On that note, take it away. cross-country uh, when you guys run races how what's the distance how far are we running here the 5k 5k um, what's your favorite thing about running distances um, the team they're really nice and then you can get to know everybody really well cool what's it like being a middle schooler on a high school sports team uh, it's fun here on site uh, with cross-country coach mr. Boyle mr. Boyle uh, we've got three middle school runners. Tell us just, summarize each one of our middle school runners in one word. Awesome. Awesome, I agree with you. What do you have coming up? Any big meets or what's what's the plan coming up on the horizon for cross country? We've got about a seven day rest before they run the conference championship down in St. Croix Regional Bluffs. And then we've got one more at Les Bullstead Golf Course. Thanks Mr. Boyle. Uh, go get him out there and I'm sure you have to run off somewhere. <laughs> but we got three uh, shining stars here from Skyview. Uh, good luck, go get him out there. Hi everyone, guess what's coming? Our book fair. It's October 23rd through the 26th, so the week of conferences is also the best time to buy a brand new book. There's a couple things going on for the book fair you need to be aware of. On Tuesday the 24th from 7 to 7.40 is Books and Bagels which means you can come with your family, check out some books, and get a treat. We're also doing a coin collection this year, so we are raising money to help those schools devastated by the hurricanes down in Houston and Puerto Rico. So we'll raise money, and for every dollar we raise, Scholastic will add another dollar to match it, and we'll send all that down to the schools to help them out. This year the book fair is online, so the link is coming home in the e-news to your parents. You can take that link, click on it, order books, and they will be here waiting for you when the book fair opens on the 23rd. You have a favorite teacher, one who likes books, you can buy them a gift card. It's going to be located by the checkout register at the book fair. So come join us, check out a book, buy one for a friend, have some fun. Berg, you're going to go to the book fair? Yeah, I'll stop into the book fair. I'm always in the mood for new books. Honestly, me too. If you want to go to the book fair, remember, it's going to be the week of conferences, and there's going to be a ton of cool stuff going on with it, so make sure you check it out, just like you check out books. Yeah, books rule. we got two new things seen around Skyview. Random clips from around the building. We're going to hear from uh, a couple of different sores and a couple of different classes. Mm -hmm. And then a new game called Over Under taking place in the hall. Quick example, Miss Soul, how many objects are on the table? Five. She says five. I think the answer is over five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I win. Take it away. I love pizza. 
So he got down to the building, right? To his house. He slid down and so I got it. Um, I really wish you would I see a cheetah somewhere, I could ride on it. a trivia question where the answer is a number. The other student has to guess whether the actual answer is over or under. How many students are at Skyview? 300 is your guess. Do you think the actual answer is over or under that? It is over. It's 841. How many staff are at Skyview? 200. Do you think the real answer is over or under? Under is correct with 104. We got a tie game. How many classrooms are on the middle school side of Skyview? 130? Under is correct. It is 37. Okay, we're here outside the seventh grade house for another over under trivia. How many gyms are there in Skyview? Hold on. Your guess is two? So do you think the actual answer is over or under two? It is over! It is three, four if you count Mr. Boyle. How many windows are there in the art room? Yes. Four. four, over, under. It is over, it's five! How many digital clocks are there in the hallway? The guess is four, do you think it's over or under? It's over, it's five! There's a hidden one down by the gym locker room. Very nice job. Okay, we're here on site with uh, two of the amazing staff here at uh, Skyview with Over Under. The game's been explained, here we go. Mr. Lateral, how many monitors does Mr. Tinney have in his office? Four. Over Under. He says over, it is nine. Correct, you got it. Plus one for Mr. Drummond. How many staff ride scooters in the hallway at Skyview? One. Over or Under? Over. It's over, it's two, Mr. Diddy and Mr. Shermat. How many computers, including netbooks, are on the middle school side of Skyview? One. 75. Yeah, we are 549. Are you serious? Yeah. Heck of a segment, uh, especially because I love games. I like playing games. Do you like trivia? I love trivia. Tell me more about it. Okay. If you love trivia, then you might just want to join Knowledge Bowl. This next segment is going to talk all about how cool Knowledge Bowl is and why you should join. Knowledge is power! <laughs> Hello Skyview, I'm here to talk about Knowledge Bowl and reasons why you should join our Knowledge Bowl team. We practice on Thursdays after school in my room here in 231. The coaches are me, Miss Landine, and Miss Marquette. And we do a lot of practice, trivia questions, it's fun, it's interactive, it's fast paced, you get to make friends, learn a lot about a ton of different subjects, it's super exciting. And then there's actually four meets throughout the year where we get together with other schools and compete. The territory of the original 13 states is bounded on the west by what river? Team A. Your answer? Mississippi River. That is correct. What? Dude! Eight chromatic colors include black, white, and B. Gray? That is correct. Why should someone join Knowledge Boy if they're thinking about joining? Um, it's like a really fun experience, like making new friends, and like it's just really fun overall. Hanging out with friends, but still having that learning experience. Just being on a team with all of my friends and going to the meets and having a really good time. It's a fun way to learn new things. Learn a lot of new things that like, like really.
really random questions and stuff that you can answer in the future. Because uh, it's fun to just hang out with your friends after school. So if you would like to get involved with Knowledge Bowl, it's $30 for the year. I have some forms here in my room, but feel free to come on down. We'll get you signed up for Knowledge Bowl. It's going to be a blast all year long. How much fun. I love trivia. Burke, I have a trivia question for you. Bring it! How many footballs are on the table? Uh, I'm going to say four. Over or under? Under. <laughs> Good job. One. The answer is one. There's one football on the table. That's uh, what we call obvious trivia, but still trivia nonetheless. Now, we got uh, word on the street coming up. This was really fun for me. There is an amazing individual here at Skyview. I mean, there's a lot of, there's roughly eight or nine hundred amazing individuals here at Skyview. Not sure the numbers on that. Might want to check it. But uh, this particular young man started a website and has a comic series. And comics are near and dear to my heart, and I enjoy them. So I'm super stoked to meet this kid. Let's do it. Hey guys, what's going on? Hey, my name is Ian Rush, and I'm a cartoonist. Show you guys what I've been doing. I've been making a series called Captain Everything. All right, Ken, what first got you into drawing comics? So last year, um, I was, used to be into skateboarding and stuff, and then I broke my leg, so I was stuck in a wheelchair, and I did not know what to do. So. Since I like making art, I thought, why don't I try making comics? So I made that, gave it to some of my friends, and then they liked it. And thought maybe I should make a website. So everybody nowadays has phones, and they can load up on their phones so I don't have to handle the issue. Making your own website, from one to super easy, and five to really difficult, how would you rate making your own website? In the middle, which would be a five, because it's kind of hard to be like, oh, what should I have the background to be? What should I have the title to be? Kind of figure out what you're doing, then it's kind of fun making a website, and you can just do whatever you want. Kian, awesome comics. Uh, this is something I've been working on. What do you think? joking when you said he was an amazing artist. Yeah, the kid's awesome. Holy cow. Check out his website. Follow out his website. Follow him. You can even subscribe and get emails with all of his um, comics when they come out each week. So sign up. Super, super cool. Love that. Want to see something cool? I would love to. <laughs> drumming championships are coming here to Skyview. Uh, yeah, you heard it here first. Um, we're going to do competitions with 6th grade, 7th grade, 8th grade. All of you kids who are told hundreds of times a day, stop drumming your pencils. Please, Miss Phil, stop, please. This is annoying. It's not annoying. It is. Please stop. You will have an outlet for your drumming skills in the Pencil Drumming World Championships coming to Skyview. 2017. Now, 2017 slash 18. Um, more information coming soon in your SOAR class, I yep. believe. Monday. Monday, and uh, all I can say is get ready to drop some beats. Some might even say some tight beats, yo. I'm pretty sure it's sick beats. Sick beats, fat beats, tight beats, I don't know. Beats headphones, barber <laughs> beats, tight. babies, Battlestar Galactica. A lot of beats in there, but all that to say... You finally get a chance to drum without being told, please stop. Boing. That sounds awesome. Well, Another you know, um, all that to say, I think this has been a pretty smashing show. Smashing. I think I smashed my finger when I was drumming. Yeah, my that's one of the things about drumming, uh, which maybe we'll learn about 
in the video. Some kids will show us how to not injure ourselves yeah. with our Both frail fingers, fingers and such. Um, but overall, uh, keep on happening, Hawks. Next week's a short week. Yep. And a big Vikings Packers game this Sunday. Sunday. Oh, Sunday. Um, that's all I've got to say, I think. Hope everybody has a great weekend. Keep on happening, Hawks.